in this video i am explaining in brief about what is citation impact factor h index i10 index and the difference between h index and i10 index citation is referring the work done by individual means any scholar researcher or author to support your research while we are writing an article if we take someone else's work or ideas we must refer it's mean we are citing their work if we won't do this it's mean we are stealing someone else's work this is nothing but plagiarism impact factor of a journal for the year is defined as total number of citations for the articles that are published in preceding 2 years divided by total number of articles that are published in the previous 2 years it is not necessary that every article or paper should be cited now let us see how the publisher is calculating the impact factor of the journal x is the name of the journal which is published in the year 2018 and m number of the articles or papers that are published in this journal and overall citations of the articles in the year 2020 that is observed is a the same journal x which is published in the 2019 and here n it is varying n number of the articles published in the year 2019 and the citations of this articles okay that is observed in the 2020 is b okay just here the example that is a m value is uh, i took it as 30 and a is 50 and n here it is 40 and b is a 90 the impact factor of the journal x in the year 2020 okay how we are calculating is a plus b divided by m plus n for our example the impact factor of this journal x is 50 plus 90 divided by 30 plus 40 which is equals to finally the impact factor of the journal x is 2 in the same way the other journal y okay uh, which is published in 2016 and m is the number of articles that are published in the y and a is the, the number of citations uh, for the articles that are observed in 2018 and in the same journal n number of articles published in 2017 b is the number of citations that are observed in 2018 therefore the impact factor of the journal y is a plus b divided by m plus um, divided by m plus n okay which is equals to 25 plus 35 divided by 50 plus 70 finally the impact factor of the journal y is 0.5 self citation is referring your own previously published articles it's mean suppose if x is writing the article he can refer his own articles that are published previously then this is nothing but self citation institutional citation is researchers scholars authors belongs to same institution referring the articles written by their own institutional people according to the journal or publisher policy they consider or not consider the self citations and institutional citations in the calculation of impact factor some journals 
they are calculating the impact factor by considering the citations of preceding 3 years. Finally, the value of the journal, we can estimate it with its impact factor. How frequently the viewers are visiting and citing the articles from that journal. The H index is an author level metric calculated by counting the number of publications for which an author has been cited by other authors at least that same number of times. I will explain about this H index with an example. The author A is published the article A which is cited three times. The H index of that author is 1. He published the other article B. The citations of this B is 4. The H index of that author is 2. He published the third article C. The citations of this uh, article is 2. But the H index is 2 only. The three of his articles cited at least three times, then only his H index is 3. In the same way, n number of his articles cited at least n times, then H index is n. See the second example. The author Y published the article L. And the citations of this article is 3. The H index of the author Y is 1. He published the other article M. And citations of this article is 4. The H index of this uh, uh, of that uh, author is 2. He published the third article. Okay, The citations of this article is 5. And the H index of this author is 3. Finally, the H index of the author Y is 3. Now see the third example. The author Z published the article S yes, which is cited 11 times. The H index is 1. He published the article T which is cited 5 times. The H index is 2. The other article U which is cited 6 times. The H index is 3. And the other article V which is cited 10 times, the H index is 4. And the fifth article W, he, uh, that is the citations of this uh, uh, article W is uh, 4. And the H index of that author Z is only 4. This is because of all of his 5 articles are not greater than or equal to 5 citations. So, the H index of the author Z is only 4. The I10 index is an author level metric calculated by counting the number of publications for which an author has been cited by other authors at least 10 times. I will explain about this I10 index with an example. The name of the author here it is X. He published the first paper A and the citations of that paper is 12. Now at this level, the I10 index is only 1. If he published the second paper and whose citations are 18, to this level, the I10 index is 2. Suppose if he published one more paper C and whose citations are 30, the I10 index of this author X is 3. Its mean till now the 3 of his articles are having more than 10 citations. Now let us see the author Y. His first publication is L and citations of this paper is 10. The I, I index is 1. And the second paper M and the citations of this is only 4 but I10 indexes there is no change in this one only 1 and the third paper N 
citations are 5 but there is no change in the item index which is only 1. The item index of the author Y is only 1 because only one paper on the, of his publications which is having more than uh, 10 citations. Now let us see the third example. The author Z, his first paper is S and the citations are level. Till now the item index of the author Z is only 1. The second paper is T and citations are only 5. There is no change in the item index. The third paper is U and the number of citations are 16. Here you can observe the change in the item index which is equals to 2. And the fourth paper V, the number of citations are 10. Therefore, here we may be observe once again the change in the item index that is 3. And the fourth uh, that is fifth paper W and the number of citations are only 4. That is finally the item index of the author Z is only 3. Its meaning is out of all the publications only 3 of his publications are more than 10 citations. Let us see the difference between H index and item index. The H index reflects both the number of publications and the number of citations per publication. For example, an individual with an H index of 20 has 20 papers cited at least 20 times. The item index is the number of articles with at least 10 citations. We can see once again this with an example. The author X has published three articles but H index is only two because all the three papers are not cited three times. The author Y has published three articles but three papers are cited more or equal to three times. Therefore, the H index of the author Y is three and I10 index is zero. That is no article is published more than ten uh, citations. And the author Z, he published five papers. Four of his papers are cited more than or equal to four. And at the same time, two of his papers are cited more than ten times. Therefore, his H index is four. I10 index is two.